Hello and welcome and then I am planning to show you that how works this Toyota Corolla's this manual gearbox this clutch cylinder this uh, pressure hydraulic cylinder what moves that clutch clutch uh, this clutch disc and and now idea is that when we press our cars this clutch pedal in that area goes this hydraulic fluid in this clutch cylinder and then when we look in their inner area in here then this clutch this this part moves in here and then clutch open and close and in that way this part moves and this part belongs in here in that way now we can see that when I move it, it moves in that way. Okay. <clears throat> and then, how works this clutch cylinder? First, we need to open that bolt, and we need for that opening this 10 millimeter specific tool. And I saw that what is the specific tool? It is, it is just. It looks like that. We have to be shaped, shaped. Look that head, 10 millimeter, and it fits in that bolt. And then when I rotate that, I open that bolt, and then I can lift that away. Couple of movement, and okay. Now, now it opens. And then there is two 12 millimeter those bolts, and I have here this 12 millimeter socket and wrench, and then I open these bolts, and I take these bolts away. That way, and then the second, second also away, and then this hydraulic, the cylinder is free, and then we can look that closer. And there is interesting maker is Aisin. It is Japanese company, what Toyota owns, and this Aisin brand is the name of excellent high quality car parts, remember, icing. And then we look that part closer. Okay, and here we have this icing, this clutch cylinder, and we can actually repair that cylinder if we notice in here some leak, that, that if this cylinder's gasket are leaking, we can disassemble that hydraulic cylinder so that we take our fingers in here and then I take this boot away and this is like this first cylinder and then when we look in here inner area there is the piston and we can take that piston out so that we have some sharp tool and when I little bit move that I can take that piston out and look there is spring what makes this that it moves always like out and then we can look in their inner area and this inner area is normally full of this brake fluid because brake fluid came through that hole and then when we brake brake when we press our clutch pedal then this fluid comes in here and it is in this hole and then it compresses that piston out in that way and piston take contact in here and it moves in out that and then next step is that this piston moves that clutch fork in here in that way so easy okay but let's look that closer what we can do this was this outer part and then if we have any leaks we can replace this gasket in here there's two gaskets and if we have sharp head tool like I have I can take that gasket away in that way carefully 
I insert my tool in here and then I only move that out in this way and this is like old old and this is like outer gasket and then this spring opens also and then there is this inner gasket and in the same way I can take that gasket out a little bit movement oh, sorry carefully in here and then, then I take that out and then when we have these new parts we have to install this in just same way back in that way this is in here and then this outer in same way back in this Maybe in that, in here, and then only a little bit compression. And now, when I am installing, I notice that this is not so easy to install, and then I take that old gasket away and I install first this inner gasket okay now I have this new gasket and first I noticed that it is good to insert first in this one gasket in here and I start my job in here and I I inserted my tool in here that way and then we now this gasket is in here and then I install this final gasket in here and that one belongs then in this position in that way and finally when I install this parts back they goes nicely in here in that way okay and then this one of course comes in here in that way this outer okay and now this installation is fine that kind of information thank you